Hello YouTube, this is Sam from Tiger's Schooling and in this session of the video we're going to talk about the acid number so which helps in the identification of fats and oils which is the topic of fats and oil so what is acid number? It's very easy and very basic idea just be with me in understanding each and every definition <clears throat> so acid number is the mass of potassium hydroxide which is actually a base in milligrams that is required to neutralize one gram of chemical substance so in case of uh, this one we take fatty fats or you can say that all right so acid number is the mass of potassium hydroxide that is required to neutralize one gram of fats <clears throat> so in this case so acid number which is actually quantify acidity of a substance so how it actually quantify the acidity of substance take this example for example, we have the triglyceride. <clears throat> so consider the triglyceride is a fat. When we, f uh, when this fat is converted, uh, converted into a uh, fatty acid and glycerol, what happens? That fatty acid is actually an acid, uh, which is an acid, through rancidification, through the process of rancid rancidification. So what is rancidify? So it is an incomplete or complete oxidation or hydrolysis of the fats or oils which actually result in the unpleasant taste or odor so for example this is fat we convert it into fatty acid and glycerol it's an alcohol and this acid and you know how much fatty acid is present in the entire glycerol how would we know? We know from this quantity because this fatty acid came from where? From the triglyceride. So this is actually the quantity that is present in the, this fatty fats. This fatty acid, this is the quantity of the fatty acid present in this fat. So acid number is the number quantified acidity of a substance. So coming to the uh, first definition again, acid number is the mass of potassium hydroxide. So it's the mass of now this acid will react with the potassium hydroxide, right? So how much potassium hydroxide required actually indicates the acidity number, the acid number, get it? So acid number is the mass of potassium hydroxide in milligrams, you can say milligrams, that is required to neutralize what? One gram of chemical substance, for example, fates. So how we would uh, neutralize the fate? We will neutralize the fatty acid, by con con converting the triglyceride and acidify it into fatty acid and glycerol. So this is it. So we have another thing as well, another point that is an um, acid number measures measure of number of carboxylic groups in a compound. For example, we know that fatty acid is made up of carbon chain in the end, which has the carboxylic acid. That's why we call it fatty acid. So the acid number which reacts with the potassium hydroxide, which uh, fatty acid which reacts with the potassium hydroxide. So this will indicate us that how many carboxylic groups are present so acid number measure the number of carboxylic acid which is this one the fatty acid groups in a compound so this is very easy to understand so what is acid number it's the actual the mass of the potassium hydroxide in milligrams that is required to neutralize what one gram of fats which is in the form of fatty acid how we neutralize one gram of fats it will become very densified we convert it and change into fatty acid fatty acid actually with the potassium hydroxide which means we are actually what we're doing, we are actually neutralizing this fat. So this is a very easy concept to get up your idea from. So this is all about the acid number. Now after this, we are going to talk about uh, another number. Thank you. And uh, please be with me with the next video. Keep, keep watching Tiger Schooling.